welcome to another edition. Yeah, like promises, where we're better together than separated. Man, been a heck of a day today, man. Out promoting the brand, YLC. You know, getting the, getting the brand out there, everybody. Coming down to 285, coming from over Chamley and Tucker. No, I'm coming from Stone Mountain. Okay. On, on, on White Oak Trail. Man, look, they started raining on me. I had to sit up under the bridge for about 15 minutes till it stopped raining. It was about me and about four or five other guys. Yeah, know? we're good. Thank you. But um, I came down to Cray, you know what I'm saying? Down, down here at Five Points. This is one of my regular spots I be chilling at. I, I frequent all of two chains and snoop spots, you know what I'm saying? Cray, Escobar South, Escobar North. Escobar Seafood, Escobar Line, that you be catching me at all of them. But I ran up on some friends today as I came in, you know what I'm saying, getting myself dry. <laughs> and, um, you know, give me, a, give me a swallow of beer in, you know, and I ran up on my man, he's from Cali. You know what I'm saying? I ran up on my friend over here. Where you from, my? Uh, Chicago, Alabama. Like, see, oh, she, well, she from everywhere. We just gonna put it like that. She from everywhere. So at the end of the day, man, introduce yourself to my viewers, man, and let them know what y'all do, man, what y'all about. All right, look, it's Circo, you know what I'm saying? I'm here. I'm trying to see what's going on with the YLC, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to see what's up with everybody. Yeah. Um, I'm Helen. I Enjoying life. Right. We can talk. Right. No, Get to know each other. What's yeah. your name, sir? My name, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. What does the YLC stand for? YLC stands for Yacht Life Chronicles. See, a lot of people think it's one word, but it's actually three words that I put together. So my my, my, my real name is King Yacht. K-I-N-G-Y-E-T-T-A. My mom always called me Yacht, right? So while I was locked up, uh, you know how people just change their identities. They morph into different people. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, yeah, so I was locked up. And I just put the yacht life on it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I used to write my letters from prison, and I used to say yacht life at the end. Okay. So once I came home, I had seen Rick Ross throughout the cold, right? And um, he was, you know, everybody locked in the house. So he would come outside barefoot, and he would touch the earth, and he would call it barefoot crime, you know? And I liked it, the science of it. I liked it, the, 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 the purpose of what he was doing. So I decided, I said, hey, man, you're going to start your podcast with your own name. So I wanted to beat everybody to see me doing everything. So what I did, I said, well, how can you chronicalize, chronicalize, chronicalize your life? So as I was thinking, I said, well, let's call it Yacht Life Chronicles. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a it's a chronological uh, chronological uh, uh, chronology of my just whole life, just doing everything. And, you know, to be intentional. Right. I wanted to be intentional. Right. Right. So with, with chronicles, I wanted to be intentional. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy, man, because nobody had never really asked me that. Oh, really? You know? No, nobody had never asked me, man. Like, I was have you ever, have that? you ever talked about it like on your show? It's the first time. Wow. So. <laughs> I think that's now y'all know. Cool. Like, that's the first know. time. Nobody asked me, you know what I'm saying? Salute to that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like part of like you chronicling your life. Is that like you, yeah. Yes, like sharing. Is this what you're doing? Like sharing yeah. like your experience with people. With people, yeah, but what what, what it was is that okay. I wanted to Okay, what life there's no instructions on life, right? So I got four kids. I got twins. I got two girls. I got a 21 year old. I got a 13 year old, and I got a I got two two uh, twins. That's two boy and a girl. I mean, I, right now with social media, everybody's being pulled to the left, and nobody's being pulled to the right. So with my kids, if something ever happened to me, uh, if I ever leave this earth, I wanted to leave a chronological, uh, a chronicle of my life for my kids. 
know what I'm saying? I wanted to leave a chronicle for my life. I wanted them to have something as to where they can go on. You know what I'm saying? Doing a podcast. So, yeah, you know, so they yeah. can always say, hey, this is how my dad say do things. Right. My dad say you advance with a purpose, like, you know, this way. And, you know, I talk about, like, formation of habits. I just talk about a lot of life issues. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with life issues. Okay. At the end of the day, that's what it takes for us to move so, forward. Like, what kind of drove you to do that? Hmm. We got the question. Being, being, being in prison. Yeah, being okay. in prison. Sitting for a little bit. So, but you know, what being what was an about that experience like that made you want to tell your story? Not even, I'm not asking you your business. Right, right. It's your show. You said what you right. want. Right. No, no. That's, that's I'm just it. You're all right. Um, what was it that, ask the question again. What was it about your prison experience that motivated you to want to, like, share your experience now? Like what? A, like, I didn't want nobody else to have to go through. It. Okay. You know, I have been, you know, I'm like a deep, deep prefix, you know. So by me, by me going to prison so many times, I didn't want nobody to have to share that experience. You know what I'm saying? So okay. I was hoping that I can use my adversities, my difficulties, things that I've been through to help somebody else. I understand that. You know like, what I'm I think saying? that's. You know, as humans, I think that's like one of the bi biggest gifts that we can give. Like, I try to give it to my family and every anybody I, not overtly, but if I can share like something I've learned. Yeah. Right. So and that's what I we got to keep passing the gift down, you know, because like I say, you might have been through something. I might not have been through anything, right? right? But a lot of people gonna be able to relate to you because you've been through things in life. You right, know, and you can, because sometimes when you go through things, it's not like you want somebody else to go through it. Right. It's comforting, like, when somebody else can be honest and be like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, I've been, been through it. Before or yeah. whatever that thing is, like, be our And you feel more self. closer than that person. Right, and it doesn't mean you got to tell all your business. But it's just being real people, to, just being your real self all the time. Right. And you just never know how that impacts you. So I appreciate what you're out here doing. Thank you. Yeah. And the thing about it is, is that... And I'm sorry, my voice is so hoarse. Oh, you are. You are. You know. I already, man, I already, you know, you are. But people, people is real unique to me. You know what I'm saying? I've always loved people. People are unique to me. And what I mean by that is that they got the same Respond. two arms, two hands, uh, two feet. Uh -huh. Tell them where we you are. You know, heart. You okay. know what I'm saying? But we just male and female. But we all the same. We got this, all the same components to our body. But we all think different. Right. So that's that's what made me kind of like start the podcast too because I love people and I love the different nuances of people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not I'm not the type of person that shun people or don't like this person because right. he laying on the ground and I'm just like this person over here because he right. got a bunch of money. Right. Um, you just never this know. person this person on the ground got something to offer me too because he could tell me how he got there. So I don't you know what I'm saying take that same road that got him to that crime. Yeah. Yeah. And just, and just same thing with a rich man. Yeah. I want him to tell me how you took that road to get there. Take what you take from people. You, know? you, you don't, take what you, you take. Don't count nobody else. Right. Okay. Yeah. And that's what it is, man. A lot of people, man, look down on people when it comes to the problems. You know, because everybody be thinking, thinking about, about you. Work. Okay. I'm you know, like, like if a, a person I'm don't like have no money to offer you, a person don't have any type of monetary. Uh, Epithet to offer you. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, ain't no sense us dealing with each other or this and that. But it's more to a person, just like me. I don't have no money. I'm just out here struggling a bit, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get to the bag, you know what I'm saying? By pushing my brain. Just like you out here pushing yours, you know what I'm saying? You're investing in the right thing. You're investing. Because a lot of people don't know how to invest anyway. So, like, the move that you want, you got your own. Like, like I said, I peeked in almost every picture you showed me that you had your stuff on. That's important, bro. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a difference when you just continuing to know better but not doing better. Right. So the steps are, like, noted. The fact that you like, let's do a podcast now. At first I was like, ah, but we got to it. But you know what I'm saying? Like, life is happening yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. I mean, how you like it? No, it's cool. It's good. Because one thing I learned is about... We might not never get this opportunity again. You know what I'm saying? We might not have right. these thoughts again. Life is happening right now. Whatever happened yesterday happened yesterday. Whatever is going to happen tomorrow is going to happen tomorrow. But right now, this moment is all we have. So 
you know, why, you not, have, why not utilize it? Listen, all we're doing is having a conversation. Right. And we're just recording it. Like, yeah. if it turns yeah. into a podcast, for right. it. Like, right. if somebody right. can get something from it. But I'm, I'm living life and I get it. Right. Oh, I was going to tell them that you're doing a podcast. Oh, everything? That, that's the whole thing. You know, is to be able to just have some substance and be able to, you know, put some, put some value and be able to put some, uh, something of purpose out there in the world. Yes, you know? I'm listening. I'm sorry. You know, go ahead and My text. life is happening as this is happening. Go, I'm sorry. Listen, so. you can text. Because, I'm going to jump listen, in real quick. <laughs> go ahead. You can jump in. Oh, well. Come on out here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, see, you can go around. Uh, yeah, she can, can get, get in the middle okay. and you can get around there. Mm-hmm. You know. I love Crave, man. This one of my, man, this one of my favorite spots, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna sit my Round to be down, we right. like, just be chill. Like we're, we're recording, you know. But um, yeah, so this we crazy. have a great friends, like, so like you hang out here a lot. I'm yeah. Here. So my fam is here, so I'm like gonna be here like once a month. Oh, my hair looks. Some of my good friends are here, but so Ari, what did you wanna say? Oh, I just wanted to say hi. I didn't know what you guys. Were, I mean, I heard what you guys were talking about, but I wasn't mm-hmm. like. In the conversation. Oh, this is yeah. my niece. Oh, uh, I ain't nothing wrong. What's up, niece? Hi. Introduce yourself. Oh, okay. You are IG? I am. Okay, um, give me IG. Tell them what you do. Okay. Um, my name is Ari, and my Instagram is Ariel Brianna. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's Brianna with two A's. Um, and I'm kind of just living life like like my aunt, just going through the motions, trying to figure it out. Right. <laughs> so how is that man trying to be able to figure life out? At a, how old are you? Oh, I'm 20. 20. Yeah. How is that man just being able to try to figure life out? Because oh. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, it's just it's just a growing process. It's, it's just a growing process. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we can roll up. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Oh, you, well, they gone in the back. Wait, oh, say, I can roll up if I want well, we to. Now we can really. Where's Michael? Oh, he's oh, outside. Oh, he he's smoke. Phone call. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know who I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah but they gone in the back. They just gave me the green light. I can blow. It's positive, man. Listen. This is my spot down here, and this is my people. So. I didn't know that. That's like how cool it is here. Like, I, I've only been here once. You see, since I came right, right in here, I'm from Michigan. You know where it's uh, but recreation. Okay. You know, we've so been on that. That's how Chicago is. Like, when I moved to Chicago, like, it was at the beginning of my career, and it was just right for somebody who was ready to get in there. And it seemed like that's what you've done in Atlanta. Like, it's, it's ready for, like, if you're ready to get in here and. But you know what? Yeah. I had to come down here and I had to experience it. I had to I had to take some bumps, take some bruises. Saginaw Mission. Oh, you did that? Yeah, Saginaw Mission. Shout out to all my Saginaws out there. I've been enjoying my day. So. Yeah. And, and listen, that's, how, well, that's what it's about when you come to ATL. That's a uh, history. When you come to ATL, that's what it's about, enjoying your day. You know Look, what I'm I was telling my family, like, I'm having such a good day. Like, I'm on photo shoot and I'm doing this spontaneous stuff. Yeah. But I'm like, so. Come to the A's. That's nice camera action out here. Best days have been here in Atlanta with my family and my friends. But See? It's so hard. Like, See? I really appreciate Super Atlanta deep. for that. Yeah. Like, anywhere it's fun I go, I'm trying to have the best time I can. But Atlanta has a special place. So and so let y'all know. Uh, definitely. You know, got to promote the brand, got to promote the KSL, you know, we got to turn this up, got to, you know, out here, got to promote the brand. But, okay. um, so what clubs y'all been to since, what else y'all been to since y'all been out here? So I'm the auntie. Yeah. So, so oh, yeah, the only person I've been to was like Taste, House of Puka. Oh, Taste, Taste, Taste open, Taste after hour. Yeah, 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 Taste after hour. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's what I was just going to say. So, uh, Gold Room. Yeah, I've been to Taste. Vods. Yeah. Tiger, Tiger. Uh-huh. Uh, curfew, this and that. Um, here, I'm trying to think. I think I missed one, but that's all I want to think about right now. <laughs> you been to any parks? You been down to Piedmont Park? That's the only park that I've been to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we kind of. I don't know if that counts as a park, but uh, well, we did today. Piedmont. Yeah. Uh, but well, like I said, the Olympic like thing to take. Cause we're on a photo shoot, mm-hmm. so yeah. But yeah. Oh, down there at, uh, on like Centennial. Centennial, yeah. 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 But I don't know oh, if that really counts or not. But yeah. But that's just kind of where our photo shoot started. Yeah. And that's, that's and that's the best. Yeah. And that's the best. Y'all been out? Y'all been to Trap House? I wanted to, but we, I haven't been. Okay. Trap right. House reason. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna... And I got an Instagram. Oh, I'm mad. I have Instagram. been an Escobar. I forgot. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I've been an Escobar. You've been an Escobar? Yes. Yeah. How was that experience like? It was fun. I, I went with my friend. We went, we kind of had a day like this with my friends and I. We went to Slutty Vegan and then we just walked yeah. over to yeah. Escobar Chill. And then we went to 656 after. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, 656, that's in Buckhead. Yeah, I, I don't know. I See, I live yeah, here, I but I don't know what places are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, down there by the uh, back. Dick, Tom Dick and Hanks and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah man. It be, it's so much shit to be going on down here. Oh, you man. know, I'm talking about all the other places I've been to. I'm sorry. Go ahead. But uh, at, at night, at 2 a.m., I go down to Blue Lagoon. I go down to Buckhead. You been down to Blue Lagoon? I've That's heard about spot. it. I've heard about it. I have no idea. <laughs> Blue Lagoon, don't be closing. Yeah. You walk out, maybe 8 of the border. <laughs> that is true. I'm going to be down there selling shirts and promote my business, getting cars out. For real, I'm telling you, it's nonstop around here at ATF. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just got to stay up. But, but I know, but as, as ATF, you know, it's always... Oh, um, I'm good. Can you tell him the good news? Yeah. Our friend. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Girl. Yeah. <laughs> good news. We finna go. Everybody don't smoke switches down here. Neither they like backwards. I don't know off in the road. We're, they we're probably good. don't look. We're good people. I'm, I'm, <laughs> see, I told you. You come to the A, you roll up a switcher that is not going to fuck with you. Too no. Much. No. I'm, I told you. It's disgusting. Man. Listen, and I ain't even got no no double back wood. Hopefully, they ain't got a back wood. It's, it's, you know, you know. don't have any wood. I huh? rolled my last wood earlier. Oh, yeah. Well, somebody had to hit the, hit the swisher, y'all. That's okay. Well, this ain't even a swisher, actually. It's a white Yeah, well, I peeked it was a white owl. So yeah, okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? So a white owl ain't yeah. that bad. That's just a great thing. You gang, know. Gang news. Yeah. But uh, so, y'all been to university? What's that? The, the, the restaurant university down mm -hmm. oh okay I didn't know right. go ahead go ahead what? I was gonna yeah. think can we take a break and come back to this oh I'm gonna go ahead and end it <laughs> I didn't want to end it but we can okay huh? you can always do another one and just break it up yeah. we're gonna take a smoke break that's it no we're gonna smoke on camera we're gonna take a smoke break we smoke right here okay we smoke on this podcast Okay. I think she just wanted to take a break for a second. A and then. That's cool. Oh, no, fine. you ain't got to be like, you ain't got to feel like you're under You want me to let you out? No, I'm fine. Oh, okay. I'm... I'm, I live my life. I can do whatever I need oh, to Okay, well, there you go. Okay. We're going to keep this thing rolling. I'm only going to do about 10 more minutes, you know what I'm saying? So let y'all catch up with some things, man, that we're doing down here. And um, just let y'all see what's going on in the A. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't get the opportunity to see what's going on in the A, man. A lot of people don't know about Craig when they come down to the A. You know? So, whenever y'all in the A, man, y'all got to come down here to Five Points, man. Y'all got to come down here to Craig. You know? But, other than that, man, we finna lounge and we finna enjoy the rest of the day, man. And roll one up. So, name on my show is We Better Together Than Separated. Let me see, give me your thoughts on that before we get out of here. Better Together Than Separated. We Better Together Than Separated. I absolutely agree. Um... It's been a trick that's been played on our community, and listen, I, all of us, we're all one, and we just need to get back to that. Us, our people, our community, the trick has been played on us, and the vibe is happening. And this is the kind, we, it doesn't matter, we need to put our resources together, our human resources, just our love, so I appreciate it. I appreciate the energy we put in on For sure. So what, they can catch you at on IG? I'm not on IG, I'm... Wait, I just okay. have a real. That's how you got. You got to catch her. You got to catch her when you catch her. You know, so you got to catch her in real life. So hey, you know how everybody have to catch her on social media. You just catch her in real life. Yes. So at the end of the but day, but no shade man, to anything else. That's you know. how I like to do things. So how long have you been down there? I don't know, like a long. I don't know. We. When you going back? So, a couple of days, but so, I'll be back. I'm, but I'm but you back. coming back? Huh? Like you I have a date certain. No, no, no. I'm going to spend like half my time here. Like I, I, but you're going to spend half your time? Take care of your business at home, but you're going to spend half your time out here. Well, I just, I travel a lot, so I just go oh, different places. Oh, yeah. Here, so. But the A but is one fam, of the most special. Well, my fam and my friends are here. One of my best friends is about to move here, like, in a couple of weeks. So, I'm going to be here a lot. There you go. Like, I'm going to be here at Crave a lot. There sure. you go. So, I'm, we'll be seeing a lot of each other because I'm always here in the A. My hangout, y'all. Crazy. Little five points. You know what I'm saying? So, 
Man, catch me on IG, Y'all Like 1976. YouTube, Y'all Like Chronicles. And on Facebook, 42 Y'all Like. This is another edition of Y'all Like Chronicles where we better together and separate. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>